What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out disturbing wrestlers versus fans incidents, man. Uh, by Top Ten Wrestling. Make sure you subscribe to him. Link to the original video will be down below, so you guys can go ahead and check out some other, some other, uh, some of the other videos. Um, wrestling sometimes brings out the worst in fans. Sometimes it brings out those individuals that uh start to believe what they're seeing in front of them is real or start to think that they know the person that's out there in the ring and it, that may not be the case um that's why security is in place for the wrestlers and for the fans themselves so no one gets hurt um definitely it's one of those type of things i i've i am a, a a firm believer in if you go to the shows you have the right to you know cheer boo whatever have a good time but you do not have the right to hop that barricade or throw something at the wrestlers or anything like that because at that point now you're asking for it you know what i'm saying so we're gonna check out some of these incidents appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel this should be a good one let's do the thing well the WWE had to release a statement when this happened I think I remember this, yeah. Oh! Yeah, it wasn't, I remember this. It wasn't him. That's the crazy thing. It wasn't, like, he was just behind him, but other people were, like, pushing him and stuff like that. So, he didn't know who did it. He thought it was the guy behind him. He ended up Kurt Patrick in him right in the face. And I, I'm I'm not sure why they didn't have security around him at the time, but I guess because it was just to have the shot of him running up the steps, you know, like the, the cowardly heel or whatnot. So I guess that's what the shot was supposed to be. And so it kind of would have kind of looked a little, little weird if he had security around him. I'm not sure, but it probably would have been best if security was around him because he definitely backhanded the hell out of that dude, but he didn't even do anything. It was someone else that pushed him. Someone must have hit him. As you can see from the footage, CM Punk was standing amongst the WWE Universe when he was shoved from behind by a fan, and CM Punk retaliated, but unfortunately, he retaliated at the wrong oh, person, fan, yeah. who was not the one who shoved him on the back of his head. The and then, then the security was able to make it up there. Granted, maybe they weren't able to make it up there in a quick enough time uh, for him to be at that particular spot, so that could have been also a reason why they weren't there, you know? when they you know probably should have been there and could have avoided all of this but nevertheless though he definitely backhanded the hell out of that guy get your hands off me i didn't even do that punk punk would have to see me like motherfucker i didn't even hit you coming <laughs> from wwe included a statement from cm punk himself where he said the following i think the whole situation sucks it's an unfortunate and isolated incident i was up in the stands surrounded somebody said let's push him down the stairs I got hit in the ribs three times. Mm -hmm. I was getting shoved and I was getting punched. Then I started getting tagged in the back of the head. Unfortunately, I lashed out in the heat of the moment mm -hmm. and I apologize. I'm just really glad nobody was hurt. CM Punk has also had some more lighthearted, if that's the right way to put it, moments with the fans though. See you, but you can't see me. Oh, you're, you're Cena fan. And you, you have said seen. you can't see me. You are, uh, so you like John Cena? Yeah, no, like John Cena. I hate Cena. I, I bet you. you watch TNA, you, don't you? you, you <laughs> <laughs> in December of 2019, a video of Sami Zayn arguing <laughs> with a fan at Ring. Some of y'all may think he's a cancer to wrestling. Whatever, bro. I don't give a damn. I appreciate CM Punk for what he was able to do and been able to do. So side at a WWE house show would begin to surface. <laughs> Oh, whoa. As you might have been able to deduce from this video, Sami Zayn is arguing with a fan at ringside and confronting a fan at ringside for his use of the F slur. And according to other fans at the show, what happened was that when Sami Zayn's music hit, 
this guy repeatedly started chanting Canadian fan. And that's oh. what led to Sami Zayn confronting the fan, and the fan was ejected and booted out from the show and not allowed to come back in. Uh, I do, I think, I do remember, um, I do remember that that situation. Them talking about that. The question becomes: Are fans allowed to say what they want to say? I mean, from a technical standpoint, yes, you can. You paid your money, you can say whatever you want to say, but. The wrestler also has the discretion, depending on how disrespectful it is, to get you kicked out. There's always consequences to what you do in this world. So you can say free speech. All right, cool. You go, you say something disrespectful to a wrestler. They can get you kicked out. It's their, it's their right, too. You paid to see them. You can say whatever you want. But there may be a consequence of what you say, and you may end up getting kicked out. So... I don't think that was the best of terms for him to say that. The play worldwide event took place in Cancun, Mexico. Cancun! And it saw Scarlett Bordeaux on the show where she got caught up in a fan interaction that went way too far and really overstepped a limit. Uh oh. I didn't even know she actually, like, be. Like, actually be in the ring. I know she, you know, obviously is uh, there for um, carrying a cross, but I didn't know she actually, you know, was an in-ring competitor, too, so. Whoa. Scarlett Bordeaux commented on the incident by saying the following, It is never okay to touch a performer without their consent. Of course. I didn't realize what happened until I watched the footage afterwards, being so in the moment after a dive with my back turned, otherwise I would have reacted much different. Oh, for sure. Thanks to Lady Shani for having my back. Just a final thought, if you wouldn't want a stranger to grab you on the street, don't do it to a wrestler as they're putting their bodies on the line trying to entertain you to the few who try to justify this person's behavior. What I wear is completely irrelevant. Could be a string bikini or a snowsuit. It doesn't matter. My body is mine and you cannot touch me without my permission. Most fans I encounter are respectful, awesome people, and I appreciate you. And yes, in case you aren't aware, it absolutely goes without saying, yeah. don't touch the wrestlers. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, he he definitely copped him a, a nice little rub. He, he enjoyed that. She just didn't realize it, but he was all up on that, man. That, hey, that ain't it, my boy. That ain't it, because then it'll be different if if uh Karen Cross just vi you know pays you a visit, finds out where you live, pays you a visit, and then you know gives you some some feels, the beats actual, <laughs> not not <laughs> not some cool feels like you you get to the beats probably. <laughs> Perhaps one of the most infamous fan incidents at a WWE house show or a WWE event is when Randy Orton was attacked by a fan at a South Africa house show back in July of 2013. I think I remember that. I think. Who the hell is this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got us on camera. <laughs> Honestly, one of the craziest videos of all time. The guy goes in there and legit low blows him. Randy Orton is visibly hurt by it because of course he is. Of course that's going to hurt. But what's mm -hmm. even crazier about this entire incident is is the story behind it. Because mm -hmm. there is, yes, there, there is context to this story, believe it or not. Yep. The man that attacked him was a 20-year-old man, a 20-year-old man named Shebo Sekabi. And a news broadcaster in South Africa got a hold of Shebo after his attack on Orton. And what he had to say was just, I just don't like Randy Orton. This was an opportunity for me, so I got up there and made a name for myself. Yep, I remember this. That's not making a name for yourself, bro. <laughs> so why did I want to jump off the stage? That's the question at the moment. Randy Orton, wherever you are, man, you owe me. I'm the wrestling machine. I'm coming, Randy. I'm after the money in the bank case. I'm after the briefcase. I'm after that. And I will get it because in everything I do in this world, I keep on shining, surviving. It's so cringe, bro. This is so cringe. 
so much cringe, bro. Oh my god, bro. Oh man, you know it's all an act, dude. Are you aware of that? I'm aware of You're not actually supposed to attack. What I want. What I want is you planned, you planned this from the initial Yeah, I planned all this. I'm a wrestling machine. You are not permitted to enter the premises or be in the buildings on the premises in Grand Wiz Casino. And Just it also turns out that Shepo quit his job in order to do this and it was all part of his master plan to make it in the business and get noticed by the WWE. No, they're not going to notice you. you uh, I, uh, I remember when this, I think I checked a video uh, on this particular situation, but it's just like, it's just, it's just mind boggling how people really think in their head that if I do this, this will happen in my favor. You think WWE would ever hire someone that attacked one of their top stars, even just not even a top star, just a wrestler in general. Legitimately attack them, and you think, yeah, we need to sign that guy. He could have been really hurt. He could have been really hurt. If it wasn't for security and efficiency, it looked like it was off camera or not on the side. It looked like Big E wanted to smoke because I'm pretty sure Big E would have ripped him limb from limb. That looked like Big E. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... They had to hold him back. Like, it's just stupid. The bro. guy was an independent wrestler in South Africa just trying to get his name out there. Stupid. So apparently attacking a wrestler is the way to do it. Spoiler alert, it absolutely isn't. And of course, this did not help him to get offered a WWE developmental deal stupid. or make it anywhere in the wrestling business whatsoever. And hey, speaking of fan interactions, if you want to see more videos from me, I released another video today already. All you got to do to watch it is hit the join button. It is a members only video. The thumbnail is on screen right now. If you want to know what Hey man, this is dope, man. Y'all go subscribe to the homie. And link to the original video. We'll be down below. I say this all the time. Hey man, go enjoy the shows. Just don't put your hands on the wrestlers. Because you may end up getting Kirkpatrick. Or may end up catching the beats, you know? Let everyone be safe out there. Enjoy the shows. Let the wrestlers perform and do their job, man. But comment down below. And let me know some other crazy incidents um, that you guys know of of fans just saying, screw it. I'm going to attack the wrestler. I'm going to do this and, and get involved in a match that I should not be getting involved in. If you know any other incidents, let me know. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K and I'm still here in the YouTube Wrestling Championship World. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See you on the next one. Peace.